Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this date, April 9th, in 1803, Natchez's governing body met for the first time since the town was chartered a month earlier. The Common Council consisted of 15 appointed and elected officials, including the mayor, alderman, city clerk, and others. Mostly middle-class citizens affiliated with Thomas Jefferson's Republican Party, the council in 1805 had to fend off a group of wealthy Natchez planters and merchants who petitioned for the destruction of the city charter. They complained the rich elite had to pay too much city taxes. City officials also annoyed the populace of Natchez under the hill, the area down by the river where taverns and boat landings were located. Tavern keepers apparently thought the city license fees were too high. Also particularly galling to denizens, according to historian D. Clayton James, was the city's ban on gambling under the hill, especially since horse race betting was allowed for affluent residents at the track on the upper town's outskirts. Revenues for building and running the city in its early years came from a variety of sources, such as public lotteries and taxes on land, carriages, boats, and slaves. By 1812, Natchez had built a city hall, jail, firehouse, and other facilities on the public square two blocks east of the River Bluff. Three Natchez leaders in the early 1800s went on to higher office. Samuel Brooks, the city's first mayor, became Mississippi's first state treasurer. Former Mayor Edward Turner served as state house speaker, attorney general, and chief justice of the Mississippi Supreme Court. Former selectman Thomas Reed became a U.S. Senator. I'm John Montcoffey, a reporter who's covered state and local governments for the past 32 years, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.